Dear ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending this presentation. My name is Manuel Casal and I am a pre-doctoral fellow at the University of Vigo. Today, I'm going to present you our work entitled Design of a Methodology Based on Analysis of Vibrations for a, an Efficient, Minimally Intrusive Remote Monitoring of the Evolution of Parkinson's Disease. We are going to divide this presentation in three main points, which are the introduction, the methodology, and finally the conclusions. Well, Parkinson is a well-known disease that is suffered by 7 to 10 million people worldwide. It's known to affect movement and it can be seen in an involuntary rhythmic shaking. They are known also as tremors and are at the lenses of Parkinson's disease. Usually, this disease is uh, evaluated based on periodic visits to the doctor. Uh, so the thing is that these visits can have an altering effects on the two day to day uh, and progression of the of the of the tremors. Uh, it's important also to highlight that these assessments are dominated by by qualitative subjective ratings, which are obtained from from the interpretation of the professional uh, of the different disease things and symptoms. For the treatment and monitoring of this disease, a key requirement should be that the measurement of the disease stages and severity must be quantitative, quantitative, reliable, and repeatable. So here, based on this, our main goal is to propose a method to monitor the evaluation of the Parkinson's disease patients. Here we have the flow flowchart that I'm going to, to start explaining. So first, the first stage, which is shown here with the red box, uh, is related to the data acquisition and, trans and transmission. Uh, the idea is that we will have some kind of, of wearable sensory unit that will help us to collect data for uh, the, the vibrations caused by the thermos. Uh, the, the wearable sensory unit will have a three axle accelerometer. <coughs> the collected data uh, is filtered uh, based on some kind of set conditions and uh, if these conditions are uh, outside outside of the prescribed parameters, they will be recorded and an alert will be sent. Uh, a, a smartphone will be used in combination with the variable sensor unit. And it will have several functions. The first one is to be a user interface to, uh, to capture the relevant information, to validate it, and also to add other data as food, drink, intake, and medicine ingested. The other function of the smartphone is to encrypt the data and load it to, to the cloud storage with the patient's ID. Then we have here other box that is showing you or highlighting the cloud computing and backend layer. The, the cloud computing is where all the data that is collected is, is sa saved, okay? It's important to, to point that here we filter data and compare it with the prescribed conditions and normal patient readings before making or generating an alert. Regarding the security hospital backend, it encompasses the, 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 the entire system used by the professionals to support the, the, the decision making and its, its task is to relate it with the process of the, of the data and keeping the, the records updated. With, the, with information from the patient. And finally, we have here the last stage that is the, or well, our function that is related to the end-to-end -end interface. I have already told you about the, the function of the, of the mobile phone as uh, also uh, showing information, but we have also the secured hospital backend that is related with the physician's interface that helps them to, 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 to make decisions regarding to the patient's progression. So as you can see, we have proposed a methodology that helps to monitor the tremors of Parkinson's disease patients. It helps to assess the, uh, the following up of the Parkinson's disease and to improve the decision-making process. And of course, reduce the subjectivity inherent to the process. With this is all, I would like to thank you for your attention. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to drop me an email.